Hi guys. Just trying to find myself. All right, I think I'm all set up. All right. I had these little guys sitting here waiting to be colored, so I just stuck them on my my little uh, thing there. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, maybe. Let's see if that's better. Oh, now i got to readjust the camera. Hmm. All right. There. I think that's good. I think the lighting is good. Let me close my window. Because... Just wanted to close my window. So hello everybody, this is Donna from Donna's Creative Space and I am here today. It's it's Friday. Just gonna... I have a couple things I'm gonna show you. Let me see if I can get this scented. I feel like my camera's all off. Hmm, all right. I am going to show you a bunch of cards today. We're not going to make anything, but I have. Look at all these cards I have. This was a swap I did on my trip to Utah. And um, we had to make 78 cards. And um, unfortunately, a couple people didn't make it at the last minute. So I think I ended up with 74 because I got um, four of my own back. So I'm going to go through these, and I'm going to go through the catalog, and I'm going to show you. So if you're watching this on um, Facebook, wh where I am right now, I'm live. Today is, what is today? Today's Friday, June 17th, 2022. So these are my swap cards that I got from Utah. I had to make 78. Everybody made 78 of the same card. This was mine. I'll show you that in a little while. I, I did a Facebook Live on this, but um, mine is in the package also. Boy, it looks like, I don't know, it just looks like it's very, the lighting looks off. But anyway, so if you're here on Facebook Live, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. I love to see where people are from and where they're watching from. If you're watching on um, YouTube, Please hit subscribe. I'm trying to build my business. My, um, I'm sorry, my subscribers. I'm also trying to build my business. Most of you that are familiar with me and my um, business, Donna's Creative Space, I am retiring from my, my um, corporate, I should say, corporate job uh, July 8th. So I'm very excited to do Stampin' Up! full time. Anyway, so I'm going to start, and what I'm going to do is I have these, like I said, 74 cards. I'm going to go through, I'm not going to take a long time, but I'm going to show you them in the book. That way you can um, check them out if you like them. So we're going to start with, oops, oh, I got stuck on my little, I just pasted down my little elephant and mouse. All right, so. All right, these first cards, these four cards, yep, four cards, are made with the Cup of Tea Bundle, and it's on page 13, and um, I'm just going to show you what, what these, these are some of the, let me say this, the people that went on this, um, ev to this event in Utah, which was arranged by Rhonda Wade from Creating Success, um, it's a training group that I belong to. These were all people that earned the incentive trip. And as you know, it was my first time earning it, but then they canceled it. But Rhonda put together this trip. So there are some of the top demonstrators went to this. Um, you'll see by some of the names that I read off. Some of them have cards in and um, put their business card or a note in the back. So I'll tell you who made them as we go. But so this one is this set here. And it's cup of tea. Cards are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it looks like I froze. So, oop. Oh, it's kind of freezing. Let's see. Um, hopefully it's back. Um, oh my goodness. If you're watching live, let me know if it's frozen. Anyway. All right. So this first one is by, and I'm going to try to pronounce these names correctly, but using the cup of tea set, page 
13. In case you are interested, the stamp is 158661 for $23, and the bundle is 158667 for $45. So this is um, one of the first card, and this was made by Jacqueline Corbin. And this one was made by Gina Cadera. This one was made by Cheryl Hamilton. And this one, I don't think that, let me see, I think the thank you, I'm trying to see. No, I guess she did. She used this here. I was just looking to see what she... So she used the paper and this stamp set here, which is kind of nice because she didn't... You know, all of these have more tea-related, but this is kind of... It has the teacup design of paper. But, um, and that was Diane Alberts. I like that one. So those were a cup of tea. I'll hold this here for a second in case you want to jot down a number. And let's see. Then we have... Oh, this is from Sending Smiles on page 14. This is the stamp set right here and um, the sending gets cut out. It has the dies that go with it. So the, um, look at these. So th isn't this pretty? This is by um, Monica Giberti and this one is by Tammy, I don't know how to say your last name, Shea? Shea, maybe? And this one here, oh, this is that paper I used in mine. This is the um, Design a Daydream host paper. And that is Anna Marie, Anna Marie Palmarin. All right. I met lots of these ladies and got to hang out with them. All right, so the next one is, let's see. Hang on a sec, I'm just trying to. Put them back in the little... Oh, this is the Bottled Happiness on page 16. These are real pretty. Now, they I, they used... It looks like this one was used by in, using the in-color paper. And the in-color... Um, I think it's called Glimmer, Glimmer Paper. And this was by Tamara Davis. And this one here, in-colors, Tatian Tide. And that's Sweet Sorbet and the um, Parakeet Party. And that was by Mary Kay Scott. Oh, look at this. I like this two-color one with the white. Sending a little message. So they didn't use the bottles, but they used all the um, floral. And then they used all the layering circles dies. And that was by Kay Kaltoff. I know I'm, I'm killing some of these names. But that was Bottled Happiness. On page 16, stamp sets, one five eight six eight four twenty three dollars if you wanted the bundle. They also have, the, we have these plastic, let me see if I can pull it down, little um, shaker domes so that you can um, make it look like the bottle's full. All right, so that was Bottled Happiness. And now, Sweet Cherries. This is what I did my card class to go. We just finished that up, and it will be shipping. I think I'll be shipping them out tomorrow. Hey Donna, how are you? I mean, I'm sorry, Donna, Ellie. I'm reading my own name. <laughs> Hi Ellie, how are you? I'm doing the swaps from my Utah trip. So this was Sweet Cherries. It's on page 19. Give you guys some, some inspiration seeing other people's cards. And like I said, some of these are really top demonstrators. All these people won earned. Well, I shouldn't say that. Most of these people majority earned the um, incentive trip. There were a couple of people that were added um, if there were extra spots. So they didn't all win the trip, but most of them did. So this one, so Sweet Cherries. This is real pretty. That was done by, oh, Michelle Litwiller. Very pretty. And this is Sweet Cherries on page 19. It is stamp set 158711 for $18. You can buy the bundle, which is the Cherry Punch, the Cherry Builder Punch. And that's 157, no, 158717. So you get to, um, you get you save 10% when you buy the bundle. All right. Oh, Ellie, you're, have, you're getting this card, this pack, this, not this one, my um, card class to go, my sweet cherries. Okay, so this one's sweet. Oh, isn't that pretty? So it looks like they cut the, um, they punched out the real red, but then they used probably, looks like a glitter pen on it. And that was by Erica Sarwin. And this one, oh, Cherry Scent. Oh, I know who made this. 
Danine, Danine's, Danine made this one, and it says it's a cherry scented. Let's see. I remember her telling me that she put she put embossed clear embossed powder, and she put um, a cute card. She put she put um, Kool Aid powder. Oh my goodness, you do. You smell it. I wish. Let me see. I'm gonna scratch. See if you can smell it. <laughs> it really does smell like Kool Aid. It smells like berries, cherry scented. And she said, "Smell." So that is so cool. What a neat idea. All right. So that was Deneen. Deneen. Where's your last name? Wagowski. All right. Did I get all these? No. I think I stopped here. And this one is cute, red and black. That is by Jeanette Swain. And this one, oh, the, the ribbon's in front of that, but it says birthday wishes. And that is by Rosemary Gonzalez. Yeah, Rosemary Gonzalez. All right, that was Rosie. I met all these ladies. This, everybody was so nice. All right, so that was Sweet Cherry. So now we're going to Paige. Oh, I got, I got that... Um, Kool-Aid powder since I scratched on my table. All right, so 20 channel, page 25. So lovely in linen. I love this set. Let me move it down. Oops, this goes back on. Sweet cherries. All right, lovely linen. And love. it's um, lovely and lasting, but the, the sweet is lovely in linen. But this is real pretty. I'm doing my um, virtual card class. It will be Monday night, the 20th. All right. Um, so if you shop with me, today's the 17th. So I put down, if you shop with me between the 17th and the 30th and use this host code, you'll get my, my card kit. It Since it's a virtual card class, you're going to get four cards. And um, if you if you shop with me and spend $35. So I'm, I, I have most of them designed, but... Um, I don't want to share them yet because I, I haven't done all four cards yet. So I, I just thought of that because I'm kind of thinking I might use this one. I really like this set. All right, so lovely and lasting on page 25. And we have two cards. So this one she used this big stamp in the background and the thinking of you and the punch that comes with this. This is called the the lasting label punch. I'm really I really like this punch. Um, I think I used this. When did I use this? I think I used this in a class. Now this one here, it's kind of, some of these cards are iffy as far as me telling you what stamp set she used. Now this one, she used the Oh Hello from the Lovely and Lasting. That's why I grouped it with this one. But these shapes, this um, pierced rectangle and pierced banners, that's that stylish shapes. That's the new... Um, stamp set oh wait a sec i gotta scroll what time monday it will prob it will be at night it's probably going to be like six or six thirty ellie i'm gonna um i will put out an email so if you're not on my email i know you are ellie but if anybody else isn't on my email um you can go to my blog donna's creative space.com and there's a button on there to sign up for my email or you can just directly email me it's donna singleton 33 at yahoo.com but back to this one. Um, so she used um, that, I think this is a wash of beauty designer paper, but the stylish shape. But the stamp set was just that oh, oh hello. And that was lovely and lasting. Very pretty. All right. So now page 28. Page 28. This amazing year. I think I'm going to use this. This is going to be one of the cards we make for my... Um, my virtual card class. I'm pretty sure that's this. I have it right here too. That's this um, stamp set, Amazing Year. I think I really like this little bouquet with this Enjoy Your Day. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this as one of my stamps. It, it, they're um, going to be four cards. And this person is, let's see, who did this? Dawn Stock did this one. And she used an embossing folder in the background, but I didn't look that up. I looked up all these cards to make sure I was going to show you the right stamp set but that's this one right here and doo -doo -doo -doo. let's see the next one is 
page 31. Oh, this is the little bird. I might use this one too as a stamp set. I don't know about this one, but this is cute. This is using that paper that I just used in my cherries class. Um, Design a daydream with this stamp set, the Sweet Song Birds, and it's oh page one page thirty one. It's stamp one five eight seven two one nineteen dollars for the stamp, and the bundle, which is the bird um, songbird builder punch. Um, if you get the two of them together, it's only thirty five thirty four dollars. So that's not a not a bad deal for um, a bundle. Okay, that's that one. Oh, did I tell you? Oh, that was made by Monica Davis. All right, page 35. This is kind of fun going through. I only have one card that I couldn't find in the catalog. I do not know which stamp set the woman used, the woman, the demonstrator used. All right, so this one is Cheerful Basket. Isn't this cute? And she used some of our new embellishments, our new metal metallic embellishments. Um, and this is by Kay Coghill, Cogbill. Okay, I hung out with her a lot. I hung out with her and Patience. So that's the Cheerful Basket on page 35. So uh, the reason I'm telling you this, in case you're shopping, because you um, just, let's say you, you bought this, right, this bundle for $47.50. That would qualify you to get my free card cat, card kit, this virtual card class. The virtual card class, I'm going to do four cards. Um, the video obviously will be live and public, and it will be on Facebook, but then it will be uploaded to YouTube. There will be no written instructions. You'll just watch the video. When you get your card kit, I will send the path back to the video. So you will have that. So you, can, um, so you won't have to try to search by the date or anything. I will send you the link. But um, so if you were shopping with me and you bought something like this, I mean, this is over $35, but um, you would qualify. So you get a card kit with four cards so you can make four cards. But anyway, that's really cute. And oh, this next one, everybody's going to like these because these are the butterflies. So this is the butterfly kisses bundle. And no, not butterfly kisses. That's a, it's butterfly kisses sweet but it's best butterflies stamp set and bundle so the bundle has a lot of um, dies in it but it is on page 37 and here it is here the paper's really cute it's six by six paper um, so when I said the suite you can buy the suite with one number you can shop just put in one number one price 67.50 and it tells you you'll get um, what items you'll get so in this you'll get the bundle so you get the dies and the stamp set and then you will also get a package of the designer paper and then you will also get these flowered um, embellishments so that's they they kind of you still get your bundle discount but they put it all together so that you only have to put in one number so these cards were made with this kit look at that all the love I really like that the, the um, bold of this stamp set. So this one was made by Rhonda Morgan and sending good vibes. Cute, right? This one, oh, this person didn't, let me see, she didn't put her, she didn't, some of them didn't have a, a card or this is open, maybe all out, but I thought I grabbed, I thought I got them all, but this person might not put their card in. And this one's cute with the little hay. And that was by Carol Hickman. And life is better with friends like now. That sentiment isn't part of this bundle. I'm part of the stamp set. Um, we may find it as we go. But I believe this. Huh. I don't think that butterflies from here either. I I saw a butterfly and I bundled it with this, but that is not a butterfly that goes with this. That goes with a different die. But we'll find it probably as we go. But the rest of the cards in here are um like these butterflies are from this this bundle all right so that's best best butterflies all right so now oh this next one's really cool this is this is a really cool set and you're going to want to get the bundle if you buy this because all these sentiments i think i hope you can see i'm going to lift the catalog a little higher it's easier than changing my camera and, and trying to zoom in um can you see the beigey color behind the um sentiments 
it might be hard to see on the camera but um I'll show you here too see how this beige behind some things when you see this kind of shading behind a stamp set that means it goes with a punch or die all right it, so this one like says coordinates with floral gallery dies so this one here check this out every single one of these sentiments has a um i should have grabbed it off my shelf every single one of these sentiments can be cut out with a um a die so that's it's really cool because you know how sometimes you just don't want to have it like see look at this see the woohoo is cut out let's see if i can put that up um i gotta wait till my camera catches up so i can see if i got it in the right space see how the woohoo is cut out of that card and i'll show you on these other ones but that is um that is called the charming sentiments and what great sentiments and you don't have to cut them out these are awesome sentiments just for just you know to stamp in squares and rectangles and circles you know who thank you beyond grateful wishing you everything wonderful just for you congratulations so tiny so precious babies are a blessing hey there what's new wishing you the happiest of birthdays good luck because you totally deserve it faith over fear oh i like that not that you need it um and everything will be okay i think i got them all so let's look at them there's only a couple here and they're very um, simple cards because the the star of the card is actually the sentiment and it's cut out with those dies. So this one was used, this is that linen, linen and lovely, I think, um, designer paper. And that was made by Suzanne, Suzanne Nets. I met her, I went to the market with her. Uh, she, I believe she's up in Canada though. And then this one, wishing you everything. See how it's all? Oh, they use the same exact sentiment. Isn't that funny? And these are the new in colors in the background. And that was done by Kate. I'm going to, I'm really going to screw up this name. Fopma. Kate Fopma. I'm sorry, Kate, if I said your name incorrectly. I pronounced it wrong. All right. So those are charming sentiments. All right. Let's go now the next page. I, I, I purposely put them all together so I could just flip through the catalog to si save time rather than going back and forth and back and forth. So this is this cute sunny splash um, stamp set. Page 41. It is stamp set 158784 and it's only $21. And look how cute this is. And they use some ombre paper in the background of these. The I don't know I should have looked up this die, but this is a die that cut out all these little holes. I don't know if you can see it. And the person, she looks like she cut out this shape by hand because there's no dies for that. And she used the pierced circle. And that is Mary Ellen Stites. And then here's another one where they stamped right on the paper and they put a little shading behind this. This is that, um, oh, lasting. Uh, I forget now. Lasting Punch, maybe. Oh, nobody. They didn't put their name on that. Oh, look at this. This is cute. All in Parakeet Party, except for the black dots. Cute. And that is Candy Michael. Very cute. Sunny Splash on page 41. So you could be make if you like these, you just make a little list of things and or put a little like, um, see, I cut, I cut these, um, post-it not notes out and then I could put something like that when I know I want to buy something and that way I have it marked in my catalog all right so this is happier than ever on page 47 this is cute I haven't gotten this one he is cute though and not once I saw this card that's what happens when you see these cards <laughs> Ellie you got you got your wish list going I bet you it's a mile long um so this is adorable little card. It just says, hey there. And now I have to, now that I see, and even these are cute. I just thought when I looked at the stamps that I was like, eh, I don't know. But the paper is adorable. And these other cards are so good. So I think I'm going to, while I'm thinking of it, I should have been doing this from the beginning because now I'll be able to go back and go back. But this was done by Lindsay Mahon. Mahon? Mahon. So that is the Happier Than Happy on page 47. Stamp sets 158944. And the bundle 158952. 48.50 for the bundle. $24 for the stamp set. So you 
these bundle, if you see these little tabs, this little uh, little block, when you buy the stamp and dies or stamp and punch, whatever it is, um, whatever the bundle is, you get 10% off. So that is, I just love this card. Oh my, oh my God, I just, oh, now I'm going to have to buy that. See that? All right, but I just love, I love the next card even better. You know why? Because it's mine. I le use these two little guys. <laughs> this is Elephant Parade. This was my swap card. This is my, <laughs> isn't this the best? <laughs> but this is my swap card. There, There's my, Donna Singleton made this. So um, I used this stamp set and I used the Design a Daydream paper that's in the background and I used my stamp and blends to color. This was that new punch decorative de decorative square? No, decorative circle punch. Um, yeah, I just love this and I, I cut out the little mouse and the balloon, everything's separate, but I kind of moved them together. But yeah, that's my swap card. And then, isn't this adorable? This would be, this is just, you know, a friendship one. But this one, look at that sweet little one. This is a great um, baby card. And this was made by Angie. Oh, Angie Judah from Chicken Scratch. Cute. Angie and I like the same little elephant. He's so cute. So that was mine. And Angie's. All right, let's see. This little piggy. This is on page 55. I love all the little piggy ones that we've had. I haven't gotten rid of any of mine that even when they retired. But this is the birthday piggy. This birthday piggy it's called. And I haven't used it yet. But I, I can't wait to because it's so cute. I love all our little piggies. But um, this is really cute, right? She used this one right here. I think it's adorable. And the stamp set's only $23. And um, this was done by Mary Schultz. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I love this little piggy. I'm going to have to put one of those there, too. I should have started from the beginning when I started this. And, and I have most of the things that I'm showing you. But, all right, Cottage Rose is the next one. This is a pretty set. I am saving this because one of these days I'm going to do a card class to go on this one because I just think it's gorgeous. It really is. So, Cottage Rose, page 57. And it's the best. So <laughs> thank you, Ellie. <laughs> you're funny. Uh, of course, you're gonna agree with me because I'm 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 here. All right. So the this is on um, page 57, and it's the suite is called Abigail Rose. It's really pretty, and the paper is kind of muted, and it's like kind of um, neutral colors. See how in our catalog they put the colors under here. They also put it on the back of the package, but. Um, so they're telling you what coordinates with it. Petal pink, early espresso, crumb cake, very vanilla, smoky slate, and basic black. And um, this ribbon is really cool because this is called the natural finish ribbon. You can stamp right on it. See how they stamped on that? All right. I think someone, I think one of the cards in here is, has been stamped on the ribbon. All right. So this one, so pretty. Maybe it's supposed to be like this. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this, I think. Yeah. And that is by Pam McLean. Oh, look at black and white. Best wishes. I know if we added a little bit of red, know what this would be pretty? I mean, it's beautiful like it is. Uh, my friend Lori Jean, who's on my team, she loves black and red. And I bet you if we did the red circle, I mean the red square behind it, oh my God, she would go nuts over this. If you're watching Lori Jean, this is by Susie Wood. And this one here. You are positively the greatest. That's so pretty. I love all these colors together. And that's by Amy Combs. And then now this one here, this is the butterfly paper. And I think this background stamp, that green and purpley color, I think that's the butterfly stamp. And then she used this sentiment. You are positively the greatest. So since she stamped with this, I decided to put it in with these when I grouped these cards together. Now this Oops, did I tell you who's, who? That was um, Alejandra Gomez. I hung out with Alejandra too. It was so nice to meet these people. Did I tell you that one? Yeah, I did tell you Pam McLean. All right, this last one here. See, she stamped on the ribbon. 
and uh, friends forever this is so pretty she looks like she did a little bit of coloring with blends and she put the the clear looks like those clear um, gems and this was by Susan LaCroix I think I said her name right so those are all cottage rows all right so let's see page 67 okay we're jumping 10 pages all right, so this stamp set, this is the A Wash in Beauty. Um, let me move this down a little bit. A Wash in Beauty suite, right? But um, let me see if I get it all the way in. But it, the name of the stamp set is called True Beauty. And now, now some of these cards, I'm, try, I'm doing my best to show you which stamp set was used. But sometimes they might have used a different sentiment. You know, it's different a sentiment from a different stamp set, but um, but this one, this is pretty, right? They use the just because, and they use the flower. It's really pretty, and I'm trying to see if that's that paper in the background that feels embossed. So I'm not sure if she. Um, interesting. I'm trying to figure out whether that that must be. Oh, that's probably in this pack. I don't know, and that is by. Cindy Westerink. Cindy Westerink. Very pretty. I love the colors. All right. Um, let's see. Page 70 is the next one. And let's see. It's called A Fish and a Wish. And it is on page 70. You have this one taking screenshots. You have this one taking, oh, the true beauty. You had that one. Oh, nice. All right, so a fish and a wish. I think that's what you're talking about, Ellie. Um, all right, so a fish and a wish. You are so loved that she embossed with black embossing powder. And this comes, this is in a fish builder punch. And just an FYI, I saw somebody took this shape and let me see if I have it now they all use but there's this fat shaped um, fish and somebody turned it vertical and made it into a lemon and it was really cute so um, oh all right Ellie you were talking about the last stamp set oh good you had that one good I'm glad you took some the screenshot of it so that so that's an idea when you get these stamp sets you know, I mean, these punches and stuff, you can make different things out of them. Like that, um, you know that punch? I forget what it's called, but we'll probably come across it again. Um, Celine made a pig out of it, so it was really cute. But anyway, this is the A Wish and a Fish, and that was made by Jenna Carr. Oh, look at this one. That's pretty. A Sea of Thanks. I like that one. She used an embossing... I didn't look up embossing folders, but that's pretty. And that was done by Barb Mulliken. Barb Mulliken. And then this one, this one, I know who did this one. This was done by Judy Tuttle. And, um, yep, Judy Tuttle. Yes, Judy Tuttle. I am going to, um, we are going to New Orleans. Anybody Silver Elite and above, which I am, Silver Elite, um, can go to the Leaders Conference in New Orleans in, I think it's the end of August, so... Um, and Judy Tuttle is one of my roommates for that trip. Okay, so that was a, now the next one. Let's see, oh my goodness, the basket is so full, but I'm trying to put them back in there. Okay, the next one is with this one right here. This is Hope and a Prayer, and this was made by Genevieve Co. She is in Canada. She's also a Canadian demo, but that's very pretty. Look, at she used the brick... Um, embossing folder in the back very subtle I'm hoping you guys can see these good enough I didn't want to take them all out of the plastic because it just takes so much longer and I like having their card in the back so because one of the things when you do swaps especially in this training group so this was on page one uh, page 71 if I didn't say when this particular training group oh see there's the lemons so I guess the person that I saw do it didn't didn't come up with it on our own. Somebody at Stampin' Up! did because there they are. They just cut off the ends and made lemons out of them. That's cool. Um, so a lot of times we do swaps, especially in this training group, so that we can get ideas 
ideas for um, our own card classes and stuff. All right, Speedy Recovery is on page 76. I have this stamp. You know, I really like this a lot. I'm trying to decide if I want to use this um, Monday night in my virtual card class because this is one of the it's one of the ones in the running. But um, I haven't totally decided on it yet because some of them I like to save for a um, a class. But we'll see. All right, so Speedy Recovery on page 76. Stamp sets 159024. It's only $22. And we have this one here. How cute. Right? They actually put a little piece of tissue coming out of the box. Isn't that adorable? I don't know if you guys can see that. And um, so she stamped the box and just slid it and stuck a, a little piece of tissue in there. That's great. So that was Chris Carmichael. I remember helping her put some of the stuff together. We were all we got there on Wednesday and after everybody came home from dinner and stuff, we were hanging out in the lobby. You bought this one? Judy Tuttle. I know her. Is she from Westminster? No, Judy is from Nebraska. She's from Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, so you just bought the, the fish one? Or this speedy recovery one? But um, so a bunch of us were sitting Wednesday night trying to, and, and there were a few girls that um, were just finishing up their cards. So we helped people like, you know, tape down stuff. But I never got to see this part. She was saving that so that we wouldn't, we'd get surprised, I guess. But um, that was Chris Carmichael. I think I no, isn't this darling? I absolutely love this one. It's just, it's so, I don't know, it's just so pretty. And it, looks like she's stand oh this is Celine it's just so gorgeous I just love the colors in it so that's evening evergreen but it looks like she might have had to stamp off for that but it's so pretty it's so simple yet elegant so pretty all right so that is sending well which is your way all right he is he's all that I did this for my virtual card class last month He's all that. Page 79. The stamp is 159071. This is great manly cards. And the paper's great. But um, $22 for the stamp set. If you want to buy the bundle to cut out all these shapes, it is $45. Um, and that's 159071. I'm pointing to that 079. 159079. Page 79. So, now this one, the person used this stamp set but they use the um new in excuse me the new in colors so that's kind of cool give it a whole different look and that was meg lovin and this one so this person used the stamps i mean the paper that looks like a fun fold that is by lisa M oh, M miltakis um, i'm sure i i'm sure i killed her name. I'm pulling this out because I can tell it's a fun fold. I haven't pulled many out because it takes too long, but oh look, oh I just did this this fun fold a couple of weeks ago. Remember? I'm trying to think of which one. Do I have it up here? I'm looking at my other bin. Oh, I wish it was, I wish it was near, oh, oh it's very similar. Let me show you mine. It's a very similar fun fold. I did it in my team meeting. See, this was one, birthday wishes. We used that um, very similar. And here's the, the in color, the parakeet party. They got a little squish, they were in the bag. Oops, that one. And then this one. So it's a, it's a, the measurements are a little different, but it's kind of the same idea. Cute, right? So those were mine that I did. I love this one though with the, that's that uh, design a daydream paper. That is the paper I used last month. Oh, no, it was this month, and that goes in this bag. That was um, it's host paper, so you have to you can only get it with a an order, um, a host order that reaches like 180 because it's it's, it's 18 dollars for the paper. But yeah, so that was the fun fold that I did. I like this one as a male one. I might have to make some some manly ones but yes that's why we do these swaps to give each other ideas and um, we purposely don't 
put any writing on the cards so that we can use it as displays in our business or we can um, remake them and teach them in classes but that's why this, that's why they slip their um, cards in so that we, we put our cards in this so that we're not making any so that I told you was done by Lisa Miltakis now this one was done by Sandra Hernandez I think I think I'm gonna open this one too because yeah this does look like it's a hang on a sec I'm gonna open this one because this looks like a, a fun fold too I want to make sure that the the card stays in here all right so let's see oops oh oh look at that that's an interesting fun fold Ooh, we might have to try this fun fold on one of these Fridays it's it's not it's like bigger than a W fold but that's kind of cool isn't it I like that what do you guys think of that one should we do that one of these Fridays very cool and then it folds oh look at it folds flat I like that I like that a lot. All right, we're going to make that as a fun fold one of these days. All right, so let me put that. This is why I didn't take them all out of the bag because it takes time and it makes a lot of noise when I'm, I'm sure that my, cam, my camera phone is picking up all that noise. All right, so that was the He's All That bundle. And um, I really like this bundle. I love the paper in here. And um, it came with two, sh if you're a scrapbooker, this is an awesome, look at these pictures here. This is an awesome bundle to get, or an awesome package of paper to get, because they, it has a ton of these little punch out. They're not stickers. They're, um, oh gosh, they're like die cuts and you just punch them out. So it's a really cool thing to, for you to um, do in uh, stamp, uh, scrapbooking pages. All right enough of that okay page 87 oh we're jumping through the catalog so here's a stamp set up here and um i want to show you this one here is really cute because you can't it's not cute it's it's very it's manly it says they use the it's your day but if you look closely all these tools she did in the background so that's a technique where you take the same ink color as the cardstock i've done it before in some of my classes and my Facebook lives so it's like tone on tone so you take the same color ink as the paper so it's just a subtle effect in the background and then she just took some strips of designer paper and then stamped on that that's great now this was made by Kelly Atchison she's yeah Kelly Atchison I told you there were big names there all right nature's print this is page 91 this is really pretty. I have, I did one of them, my Facebook lives. I did one of these cards. Okay. So let's see. We've got a bunch of these cards. All right. This one, ah, this one here. I love this one. This one was done by Karen McNall. She's up in Vermont. And that's so pretty. She did a lot of cutting, a lot of, a lot of die cuts. There's a circle and this die cut piece here. And then you stamp this. I did a card. In fact, I have a class going tonight that I think we're using this stamp also. I have my first in-person class back at my house tonight. I've been teaching um, an in-person class at the studio here in town, but this is the first one I'm having back at my house for, since before, when's the, I think the last time I had a class here, um, it had to been either, well, everything closed down, right? Mid-March, and I was coming home from a quilt weekend when it closed down, so... I think if I didn't have a class before I went away on my quilt week and then it was February might have been my last in-person class at my house. So over two years since I've had a class here. So I'm very excited to have some girls over. All right. So that was Karen McNall. Very pretty. I like how she stamped the um, this fern on the circle. And then the um, that looks like she used Sahara sand. And then she used the new... Um, starry sky i believe that's what she used that's what this paper looks like all right so here's another one which she embossed and she did a little tearing of the paper just not tearing um distressed you know you rub your scissors on the side of it and she used the different ink colors and that was michelle salcho i think i'm pronouncing that right and here's the two-tone one black and white oh that's that paper um oh gosh I I should have looked it up. I can't even think of the name of it. Um, pencil. I can't. I'm not even going to try. 
And that was by, gosh, Dawn, Dawn. I don't know her last name. She didn't have a last name on there. All right, now this is a pretty one. Look at that. With the, I love mixing the petal pink with the blue like that. That is by Hattie Nelson. And then this one here. Now, I, I didn't look this up. This is a die that partially cuts things. It doesn't cut holes in it. It cuts slits. Let me take this one out. So, And this is by Leanne Graff. Graff. Leanne Graff. And um, she used the best wishes and the the this label die from the set. But let me, I wanted to open this so you can see this die. Let me see if I can find that die because it would be nice to, for you to know, um, be nice for me to know. Now, I'll, if I can't find it in a couple of seconds, I will pass on it. But it is, it's a die that cuts, it slices into your paper, but it doesn't fully cut it out. Here they are, pretty pop-ups. That's what they're called. All right, so it said to see them used on page 17. So let's go back to page 17 for just one second. Oh yeah, see that there's pictures of the dies and see how they, um, it just slightly cuts into your paper and then um, you probably can work it up. See, they have the spatula out. So let me get back to this. So this got a little flattened by being in the, um, in the envelope, but I'm sure that they were up in the air like this. And it looks like, oh yeah, so look underneath. She's got blue. So she's got blue behind, look at that, they pulled it. She's got a piece of the um, balmy blue, I think. That's because this looks like balmy blue, but I'm trying to peel it up. So what a neat little, um, that's great, right? So that's a nice little, um, goodness, that's a very nice little, um, die set to have to give you that effect and this looks like it has some swirling in the background too so it doesn't cut the butterfly all the way out and in it in the that looks like a dragonfly but it doesn't cut them all the way out it just kind of slices them so you can lift them up and she looks like she put a little bit of wink of Stella and some stampin blends on so that was leanne greff let me get her make sure her she's got a little post-it note with an address on it um so I took that one out. So I think I got all of these. All right. So that was the Nature's Print on page 91. My goodness. All right. We only have... Oops, I just tossed one in here. And where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Okay. So this one is page 99. I just got this bundle. This is the... Um, Season of Chic stamp set and bundle. And um, I think this thank is from a different set. I know because it's not that thanks isn't the same thanks. But everything else on here is, I believe, from here. This little mesh, that's a die. And this little seashell, that's one of the dies. But isn't that pretty? And this paper is really gorgeous. And they matched it up with this um, metallic. That looks like, I forget what me metallic. This is the gold. Okay, so this one is by, let me make sure I tell you who it's by. Kim Peck. Very pretty. So that's like a copper foil. And she cut out the thanks. And that's a die set too. Um, I can't remember what the name of the set is. I, I could look it up. Um, maybe I, where is that? What page? Uh-oh, Ellie, which one are you talking about? This one? The thanks? See, there's a delay on um, Facebook when I'm re recording, so you'll have to tell me which one you're talking about, Ellie. Um, I'm going to look up the word thanks, because that's what I... I don't know if that's what you are looking at, but we had a, we had a die set, and not that one and it had a few different words here it is amazing thanks so she used the thanks so she used the thanks in the um copper color i think that's it's either copper or rose gold and then she used the thicker one that she cut out of white 
so she actually cut a background to it. Isn't that pretty? That's really nice. I think that's, um, I'm trying to see if, let me look at the paper. Um, I want to make sure that I, I want to see what the, all right, let me put something in the way so I know where we were. Includes, yeah, the paper, the paper, the designer paper actually has gold foil in it. But I wanted to see if I could find, if I can't find it, I don't want to waste too much time, but, oh yeah, now I'm getting back to the stamps, so let's see. Um, the Dye Partial Cut Butterflies. Dye Partial Cut Butterflies. What? I don't know which one you're talking about. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, the foil paper. I get sidetracked. Well, it must be in here somewhere. Let's see. There's all the ribbons. Oh, here we go. So, yeah, so she probably used the rose gold. I knew it was either rose gold or copper. But it could be, it could be copper sheet. But I think it's the rose gold. But we have rose gold. We have a lot of metallics now. Rose gold, 12 by 12 specialty paper. We have brushed metallic cardstock, which is um, copper, gold, and bronze, and you get two of each of those. This one, you get two of each of the three finishes. So it's an iridescent matte, uh, an iridescent, a matte, and metallic, all of rose gold. Then we have silver foil, which you get, um, it's all silver, but you get a brushed finish, a matte finish, and a mirrored foil finish. Then we have copper and gold pack, each separately because they have two different numbers to order so there's two sheets in each pack and then we have the gold oh, let me pull, pull it down oh you think it was nature I'll look back in a sec Ellie but gold and rose gold metallic paper that's a specialty paper that's five dollars and that's six by six these four ones are 12 by 12 and then we have this new distressed gold that's um 12 by 12 also so those are the metallics that we have. So this looks like the gold foil. And the other card, let me get back there. Uh-oh, did I lose the... I can feel it. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's rose gold. This looks like... Um... Oh, this is the distressed gold. Let me pull this out because you have to see what that... I'm pretty sure this is page 91. All right, let me check Ellie. Hang on. This one, you wanted to know, oh, the Nature's Prince. So what are you asking? Die cut but half a butterfly? Oh, these? Oh, I'll tell you. I found it in the back. It was right around here. Yeah, Pretty Pop-Ups, page 173. That's, that's Pretty Pop-Ups. It looks like a large circle, kind of a rounded rectangle. An oval, and then some little itty bitty ones that look like you could just put a butterfly or a dragonfly in the corner of your card and cut that out. I think I might have to put a little note on that on this page too for myself. <laughs> what do you? Uh oh, did I lose my page? No, I'm right here. Okay, so that's what you were asking about, Ellie, right? This one here. I'm pretty sure she's yeah, yeah. Cause she said page 91, so that's that. All right. So back to this. I was going to show you. I see this mesh thing here that's part of the dies. I'm pretty sure that's the the this distressed gold. Let me get this out of here. It's kind of sticking. See that? Can you see how that is distressed? I like that a lot. I'm going to have to get some of that. Oh, I bet you that that gold stuff that distressed gold paper would be good on um Holiday cards. I'm starting to think of my holiday class. All right, so I told you who made this one, Kim Peck. Oh, can I get it back in without ruining it? All right, Kim Peck made that one. And did I tell you who made this one? No, I didn't. Michelle Suet. Suet, I think that's how you pronounce the name. This, I'm going to open this. I think this is a fun fold. Oh, good. She did. Some of them are sealed and some are just folded in. Yep, fun fold. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I like that. We're gonna, see, some of these I'm going to have to make as... I mean, not necessarily the card exactly, but the fun fold is a great idea. 
Okay. All right, Ellie, you're all set, right? Okay, so these two were the Season of Chic and um, page 99 on those. And the stamp was $158810, $27. There's a lot in here. Thanks. Thinking of you. Love you. I'm here for you. Wishing you the best birthday ever. You are amazing beyond measure. You make each season of life even more beautiful. And then you have a snowflake. You have some speckles and splatters. You have a flower, seashell, and leaves. Oh, so I wonder if it's like, so it's season of chic. So I would say fall, winter, spring, and summer, right? That's my guess. All right, that's that. Okay, so the next one is on page 107. And this is the one up here. This is kind of a cool thing. This is done. I remember her name was Melissa. Now she didn't, um, she was one of the people that was, didn't have these ready. Like she was, you know, almost done. All of her stamping was done. We were just helping her put things together like the dots and I put on all the bows of her cards. Um, but that was that Wednesday night. It was just a nice way to get to know people. This thank you cutout, that is from that Charming Sentiments bundle that I showed you earlier. This is that decorative circle punch. And um, very cute. So I think this splatter is from a different one too. But she used this, and she did four different cards because she used the, this is the artichoke. And she did a bird one, and she said the radishes and the berries. I just thought it was really different, and I, I kind of liked it. So that was an eclectic garden, and that is on page 107. $23. Okay, so the next one. Oh, you know what? I don't, huh, I don't have, I don't have a little, unless it fell off. I don't see a little um, post-it note on these, but this is Happiness Abounds, so it's on page 109. So how about I make one, just so that everything is the same. Now I did this as my card class to go was it February? Oh, no, May. It's, it's written right here. May card class to go. Silly me. Um, and this is on page 109. And I did do a couple of Facebook lives with this set. I love this set. So the stamp set. Let me finish doing this like all the others. I can't believe I didn't. 159238. And that is $23. And then the bundle. Sorry, I'm writing this off to the side. Not that you need to see it. The bundle number is 158824, and it is $49.50. Wow. So that's really pretty. This one here, I did a couple. I don't think I have my card class to go here, but I did do. This was a Facebook Live I did a few weeks back. Is that a pretty fun fold? We did that. Uh, do I have any more here? No. Um, no, they're out in the other room. I have everything's out in the other room, guys. No, I don't have any more of that that class that is out packed away. I did just find another. I found another card kit that I that um, was left over from that class. But this was a this was a um, Facebook Live. So you can search back for Facebook Live if you want to make that card, that fun fold. But that was pretty. So that was this set called Happiness Bounds. The stamp set alone is $159,238. That's the uh, number, and it's $23. 10% off to get the bundle together, and it's uh, $49.50, 158824. And let me show you the cards from the swap. Look at all these. Now, some of these, they might have just used the sentiment or they might have used the absolutely gorgeous paper. All right, so this first one, they use the, sen the sentiment from here and the flower. So it's happy birthday. And that was by Anastasia Radloff. I hung out with her at the pool. And this one, this is really nice because they used a different, they didn't use the um, designer paper, so it gives it a totally different look right and the little brass butterflies now this is by oh nobody that's by nobody 
They didn't put, they did such a beautiful job, but they don't get any credit because they don't look at that. There's nothing behind there. All right, so this one here, um, this very pretty. I love, I love this together. I just love this paper. But anyway, that, oh, another person that didn't put their card in there. Okay, this one, hi friend. Now that hi friend comes from something else. But I, I, I put it in with this because of this paper. All right, and this is that, um, designer tags, I think they're called. Um, I forget now, but, but it's a, um, a set of dies. But, um, very cute. I like the way they just put a little high friend with their little, um, white twine. And that was by Betsy Kreider. Got a name there. Now this one, isn't this pretty? So this is, this is actually not stamped because the dies, these dies cut out some of these pieces of the designer paper. Isn't that cool? So the hay there, that's from a different set also. So that's not a, that's not from this set, but um, I put it with this because of the paper, I guess. Um, I don't know where the hay, hay there. This is from Connor Bear. It doesn't have a person's name on it, but very cute, right? Now, so this one here, again, they cut out the paper. They did stamp these and cut those out. It looks like they stamped them on designer paper and then cut them out with the dies. And then this is back to that charming sentiments where the, the sentiment gets has the die to match to cut it out so you can really see how it's cut out like that but very pretty right and that is by Karen Duke oh you know I love purple this is a pretty one this is and the happy birthday comes from something else but I put it with this because of the paper and that is from Laurie Krauss oh another purple one thankful we are friends now this is I put this in here because of the paper but this one here that's a different stamp set. Um, I wonder where that one was. I should have written that down because written that down. I should say. I want to say. Well, we might come up with it. Um, I want to say it's it. We didn't pass it yet, but I could be wrong. Um, maybe we did pass it. All right. Well, I put it. I grouped it in here because of the paper. Most of this I grouped either the stamp set or because of the paper, but that is the Happiness Abounds paper and stamp set on page 109. Okay, we're almost we're almost at the end. All right, page 114. This I had I I I never even noticed this stamp set, but this is called Uniquely Artistic, so I liked seeing it. And um, so they stamped this long branch here and then these flowers and they cut out one of the flowers by hand. And this thanks, that looks like it came from, oh, I can't remember. Was that, that was from that, was that the sea, the sea, um, the season of chic maybe? I forget. But this is by Tina Kurvgik. I totally ruined that name. But that's very pretty. All right. Now we have page 118. Page 118. This is Heavenly Hollyhocks. Some of these I just really didn't notice until I see these cards. Now this person, um, this person, Jane Stahl, she cut out, she, there's this die that cuts this whole piece out. And she did that in the, the gold foil. And this is that chic paper. Remember I was telling you about the chic? season of chic paper and this looks like she um, used gold embossing powder on that very pretty right and this one a totally different look right so this one's all different colors and I like I like when they you know she put like a this green in the background cut kind of straight and then turned her little piece that she stamped on but that's all the different flowers and stuff very pretty and that was by Chelsea Christensen well, she's on the artisan design team very pretty. Okay, that's Heavenly Hollyhocks on page 118. Stamp is $19 and the bundle's $50.25. All right, we only have a couple more. I appreciate you guys hanging in with me. We got this one. I'm just going to slide right over. So this is a little um, limited edition, it's called. And this is great because this is this would be nice. Not only can you stamp 
on the front of your card like this. But see this handcrafted from the heart? You could put that on the back of your cards, right? And uh, made with love. And if you're selling your Stampin' Up! cards, um, according to Stampin' Up! policy, you should use the, if you're a demonstrator selling your cards, you should um, use the Stampin' Up! logo on them. So with the copyright symbol. So all these have, most of these, this one, this one, this one, and you have that. So you can put this on any of your cards. And this is hand stamped, a paper hug from me. That's really cute. Just for you. Um, this is limited edition all the way around and it has a Stampin' Up! logo. Made with love. But see, you can put these on the back of your cards. And, and a one of a kind creation. So this one was handcrafted from the heart and that was by Jennifer Hill. And the, here's the limited edition and then she used these flowers and leaves come from a different set. I can't remember what set though. And that is by Candy Rattray. I know Candy. I've met her a few times. She is from Texas. All right. Uh, we only have about four left. One, two, actually three left. All right. So the next one is Sit and Relax. Now this is way in the back. Page 179 because this is a host. These are host stamps. All right. So here's that Design a Daydream paper. Oh, I do need to tell you though on this one, there's a there's a typo on this, and um, I can't go through all the catalogs that I sent out, right? But 48 sheets. It says 12 sheets, but Stampin' Up um, made us let us know that that is absolutely incorrect. I've bought this paper. This is what I used for my cherries class um, earlier this month, and it's 48 sheets. It's a big bundle. It's oh, it's right here. <laughs> It's, now this is only half the bundle because I've already used some of it, but this is um, host paper, so it's eighteen dollars, and you can use host rewards to get it. But um, you have to be a host, so your order would have to get up to one hundred and eighty, and then you'd get eighteen host rewards, so you could purchase that. So this card, they used um, the paper, right? And they used this. Was it this one? No, this one. This begin with a dream. Oh, I, I wrote it down wrong. It's not, it's not stay, sit, and relax. That's wrong. That's wrong. It's begin with a dream. Kindness changes the world one heart at a time. Isn't that pretty? So that is on page 179. And it is, let's see, begin with, it's $13 as a host. All right. So it's, but you'd have to place an order. When you get your when your order gets to one hundred and fifty dollars, I'll still send you my free offering. When you get to one hundred and fifty dollars, you'll still get the free stuff from me. When you but don't use my host code because when it's one hundred and fifty, I want you to get your host code, you to collect your rewards, and so these are things that only hosts can get. So the paper, these stamp sets. All right, so that is that one. Begin with the dream, and then I have this card here. This, oh, did I tell you who that was from? Oh, I don't know. They did not put their, oh, let me see. Is there something on the inside? Oh, there might be a slip on the inside. Let me see. Yeah, there is. Hang on. It is by, whoops, Lynn Streifert. Lynn Streifert. All right. Now, this one here, um, this was done by Nancy Stone, and she used two stamp sets. She used the Paradise Palms on page 23. There's no sentiment, though, so you could make this into... You could put any sentiment on this that you wanted. So she used the Palm Tree, right? Oh, I did a card class to go back in December on this. I'm trying to write things in my books so I remember things. And then she used the Let's Set Sail on page 80. So let me show you that one. And that's this one right here. So she she stamped, it looks like she stamped the water, a couple of rows of water, and then she used the punch, the sailboat builder punch, to punch out um, from designer paper the sailboat. And then she oh she used the sun from the par from the paradise, the um, palm tree one. So that's cute, right? That's a fun fold, gate fold, it opens in the middle. Now there's one card that I have not been, I searched high and low, I searched online. Um, did I tell you who made that one? That was Nancy Stone. This one was done by Julie Davison. It's it's beautiful. It's it's um, with that lasting builder punch, lasting shape or whatever that's called. But um, 
I could not find the sentiment. I'm sure it's in here somewhere because it was supposed it was an annual catalog swap, but I, I looked high and low. I searched online too and I couldn't find it. So you'll have to if you know where that um came from, let me know because I believe I passed over the, the fern or whatever that leaf background is in here. But I really don't know what stamp set she used. And um I've gone through the whole catalog and I even searched online. I put in, you know, new life and um here's the punch called the um lasting label punch that's what that's called so that was julie davison's very simple but sweet right and um that's it that is all the cards we went through can you imagine all of them so all what did i tell you 74 so thank you for bearing with me and um going through these and um don't forget I will be putting out my email about my virtual card class. It will be Monday night. What's Monday night? I think Monday is June 20th. Let me look. June 20th. Yes, Monday, June 20th. That will be my virtual card class. Um, yeah, 21st. If you're a Sage stamp, if you're on my team, we have a team meeting on June 21st. I'll be sending out an email about that. And um, so this, so I will be doing the June virtual card class kit. I'll be making four cards. I believe I'm going to use four different stamp sets. And you can get the four cards for free with an order of $35 or more. As long as you use that host code. And if you... Some people have a hard time finding the host spot to put the host code. It should be up in the... Right under my name in the upper right corner. You sh there should be a, a drop down that says apply host, host code or add a host code. Something like that. But... um. But you're welcome, Ellie. Thanks for watching. All right, people, I am going to clean up now, and I have to get get my house in order for my card class tonight. So hope you have a good rest of your weekend. I will see you next time right here. If you have any questions, be sure to email me and um, Donna Singleton33 at yahoo.com, and you can sign up for my email list right there, donnascreatorspace.com. There's a button. And um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video or any of my videos, hit the notification. That way you'll get notified when I go live again or when I post a video, I should say. All right. Bye, Ellie. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.